Hello, my name is Dr. Hart Pinto and today we're going to be talking about medical ethics and the topic of today will be confidentiality and privacy. Okay, so what is confidentiality? It's when a patient discloses information to their doctor and the doctor pledges not to disclose this information to a third party in the future. It is the cornerstone of trust between doctors and patients ensuring that patients are comfortable to allow doctors to perform clinical examinations and also provide very personal information. It is therefore our obligation as doctors not to disclose this information. And by doing this, we get increased trust in our profession, enabling further disclosures in the future. But confidentiality itself is important. There are four pillars of importance. First of all, autonomy. It allows the patient to decide who has access to their personal information. Two, there is an implied promise. Patients assume that doctors will maintain that confidentiality. Three, virtue ethics. So a patient assumes that the doctor is virtuous and would not breach confidentiality. And four, consequentialist. Breaching confidentiality would result in the long-term loss of patient trust. Okay, but there are some circumstances when confidentiality can be breached. So first of all, we can breach confidentiality when the patient consents to it. For example, they may want to, us to pass their confidential medical information to insurance companies in order for them to get a premium. It is generally accepted that confidential information will be passed between healthcare teams. Where patients have consented to treatment, information is shared amongst healthcare professionals to ensure continuity of care. A caveat to this is that patients should be informed that such information will be shared and should the patient wish to restrict the passage of this information, it should be respected. We can disclose confidential information when it's in the public interest to do so. For example, if we wish to prevent serious harm to a third party, for example, a patient informs us that they are HIV positive and they're not wishing to inform their partner and we know that they have unprotected sexual intercourse. The partner is at serious risk of harm and therefore we have a duty of care to their partner as a patient as well. It may be also to prevent a serious crime, for example, a terrorist attack. Should we become privy to some information passed on by a patient that would prevent a serious terrorist attack, which could save the lives of individuals, we should breach confidentiality in that case. There are more common circumstances such as informing the DVLA of patients who are unsafe to drive due to certain medical conditions. Usually we advise patients themselves to inform the DVLA, but if they choose not to, we can do that on their behalf. For also, as doctors, we have a duty of disclosure to statutory bodies such as communicable diseases, epidemiological statistics such as births, deaths and termination of pregnancies. We also have a duty to disclose information if a court order is applied. Occasionally there are accidental breaches of confidentiality. So what should we do in those cases? So more recently the GMC has introduced a duty of candor which means that we have a duty as doctors to inform patients of our mistakes. So therefore, we must not only speak to the patient and apologise for the breach that has taken place, but also we must clearly document our conversation and the events in the patient's notes. We should also inform senior members of staff, so the patient's senior consultant and senior nursing staff dealing with the patient, and also, this may be escalated and statements may need to be provided. It may be worthwhile speaking to a medical defence union to provide legal assistance at these times. 
where breaches of confidentiality are unavoidable, we should keep these disclosures to a minimum. In the case of audit, we try to anonymize the data as much as possible and use unidentifiable information. Where we cannot anonymize the data, it's best to seek consent from the patient before using it. And we also need to make sure that we as clinicians are up to date with medical legal requirements and ethical guidelines. So in summary, confidentiality is where a doctor is provided information by a patient and the doctor does not pass this information on to a third party without patient consent. By doing this, we maintain the doctor-patient relationship. We've also discussed that confidentiality can only be breached under certain circumstances. Thank you for listening. I hope this has assisted with your revision. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. Thank you.